In, in, from 1961 to 1969, he took the photographs that are in this exhibition, and uh, he very much wanted to direct a movie. And my my mother was, you know, always seeing him walk around New York City using his his hands, framing everything. She said, "Why don't you? Maybe you should. Maybe I should buy you a camera." Because her father, Leland Hayward, was also a photographer too. And so she's like, "Maybe that's what you should be sort of focusing on, you know, in between acting and eventually directing." And so, once he got the camera, she bought him his first camera, uh, Nikon, and he was he had it around his, you know, slung around his neck all of my childhood. I remember. I didn't really see all the images until he had um, put together in the 80s, he put together a book of photographs called Out of the 60s, which was the first time I'd seen all the photographs, you know, the, his choices of his favorite ones from the photographs he took in the 60s. And it had, you know, the artist series and it had the uh, Martin Luther King marches and it had uh, the, the, you know, the, the bikers that he, loved to photograph and the artists um, that he loved to photograph. So my um, parents, um, when, my, when my mother was pregnant with me, they owned a house in Bel Air and it was the first house to burn down and um, in the Bel Air fire. And so they got some insurance money from that and my father was very close with the owners of the Ferris Gallery, uh, Irving Blom and Walter Hopps. Uh, and they, all the, he collected a lot of art that they were selling at the gallery and from different friends of his who were artists like Ed Ruscha and Roy Lichtenstein and Andy Warhol. And he decorated the house with their paintings. Um, they hung a 12-foot clown they found in Tijuana, Mexico, because they were always driving down to Tijuana for the bullfights on the weekends. And I think that's a big part of knowing him, was that he was not just someone who was like, I'm in Hollywood or I'm, you know, I'm interested in art or, I mean, he, he had so many different interests and so many different worlds that, you know, he loved music. He was friends with many of the, um, uh, you know, rock and roll bands in the 60s. You know, he loved to collect art. He was also friends with all the artists. Um, and he also was one. So it was an incredible, I think you feel the many different, um, how multifaceted he was in terms of the things and dimensions of the things that he loved to um, be a part of. I think that the way the show is hung too, you really get a feeling for the different, you know, um, worlds that he was involved with at that time and all the things that were happening at that time. So it's, it's a very complete edit of his work and very exciting to see. He said to me always, you know, everyone, everyone will know me as an actor or a filmmaker, but, you know, I really want them to remember me as a photographer. And not just an actor who took pictures, but as a photographer. So I hope this show proves him, you know, I hope this show can help people understand that and see that.